All right, hello and welcome to Master of Magic. I'm in here Brad Pritchard. Uh, obviously, if you if you watched the last video, you know what's up. Things things didn't go well for me as the game decided to stop being functional. Excuse me, uh, that didn't that didn't go well. But it's over now. Don't worry about that. Uh, same setup, same settings, same wizard Plotchka, and same race goblins. We'll see if the same thing happens again. I'm putting my money on... Uh, maybe not. I'm going to learn Crack's Call. I thought that was offered to me last time. I could kill something with Crack's Call, but not Draconians. Anyway, my initial talent is named Owl Feathers, which... Huge props to that. It's a great name. Max population, not great. Not on the water. Not great, but not surprising. <clears throat> you know how it goes. I, I don't love the city. It's not nearly as good as I had last time. It does have Mithril Lore, which gives me some extra power. But... I can't make an alchemist guild, so... Uh. And I got look at this fucking isthmus. I can't tell if it keeps going that way or not. I'm not going to find out right now. I don't think it is best practices for me. I think it's better for me to... Because it might not be, you know? It might not be. Uh, we don't have anybody left here, of course, but... So I'll build a spearman real fast, and then... I already have a granary. Town start with granaries these days. Okay, I don't really care about these sites right now. Actually, I kind of want to clear the sites, uh, but it's likely po impossible being here on the Mirren Plain. But let's take a look, because this is going to be, you know, interesting. Okay, th that's one idea. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's not that interesting. Maybe we just leave it be and keep marching forward. Turn three. Sweet Lord, there's another little isp here. I think you can tell there is something down here, though. So, I don't know. Let's take a look at these 2019 and 19 I think the 12% is okay I think that I think that's fine um, it controls the isthmus that being said it uh, will still have whatever is this, this is a resource right no I guess it isn't that's just some grassland flowers I don't really see any resources but I think controlling the isthmus you, you got to think about that <laughs> right but there might not be any hills Ooh, I can't see any hills here I can transmute things though I can change the land so let's just build let's just build Elk Huff. Not as good a name as Owl Feathers. I don't think anybody would really deny that. Okay, now I can see a little bit more. That's a hill. That's a hill. I don't need to transmute. That's a hill. All right, sweet. Uh, I'm going to keep exploring. I'm not exploring anymore this turn, but I'll keep exploring that away next turn. Turn five, I guess. Uh, they're offering me the Magic Spirit, which I'm going to take Wojo's advice and use that as a scout because I think he's right even though should I even be looking up this way it's all gonna be tundra right even with these mammoths which are a new resource and a good resource at that chances of me really wanting to settle up near the tundra are pretty low so I think I should I think I've sent my war bears the wrong direction I think I'll let the magic spirit explore up here and I'm just down I don't even explore up here right now I just, I just, I know I don't want to be in the tundra. There's a possibility I could put a city somewhere up here. And there's some more mammoths there. I don't know why the fuck I'm allowed to see them. <laughs> I feel like the fog of war should be a little more complete. Even though it's kind of interesting that it's not. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think I need to change the way I'm exploring. And I'm going to do that. Turn eight, my town has, or my outpost has become a town. Elk Huff on the up and up. I had to temporarily uh, change my allocation of labor here because I made an extra a spearman earlier than I usually do because I wanted to keep the unrest down. I think that was a stupid idea and I was just wrong. <laughs> Wish I hadn't done that. So uh, apologies there. This guy is a, a exploring the frozen north. There appears to be gold there, but I think the chances of me one, two, three, four to be up here, city, pretty low. We'll see. See you in a few turns. Turn eight still. We found a town and it's a, it's draconians which is annoying because they're gonna fire breath me and shit but surely my two units here can take care of business right if we take if we take some damage fine if we lose a unit i'm gonna i'm gonna be pissed <laughs> but i don't think that'll happen i think just use resist elements and everything should be fine i didn't really want to run into draconians because they're actually a real problem until you get range units which just takes a while you know Am I allowed to cast his elements on? Oh, I can web them. I got web. All right, let's try web. Uh, maybe they'll, they'll come to there. Ish. They might not might enable them to move to here, but we'll, we'll web them. I wanted to attack twice with the bear, so I think this is a bit of a mistake. But I'm an idiot. So, you know how that goes. 
Okay, they, they still they still fell into my little trap. My little trap, I thought was gonna be sweet as shit. In fact, you guys are wrecking. The flame breath is still uh, too impressive for me to. Oh, it's a web. Oh, they couldn't get out of the web because they don't have enough. Damn. That will work. I guess I should have been thinking more of webbing in the previous run. We'll keep it, of course, but I didn't. Uh, so here we go. We can see a lot more of the world. There's some real normal looking places out here, huh? Does this town have any resources? They got gold. These cities are so nothing compared to the ones I had in previous turns. Oh, they're just furious. Just absolutely furious. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll try, but these guys are... They couldn't be more pissed off. They hate me. They hate my guts. Ugh. Anyway, three cities, though. Pretty good. Turn nine, you can see that there is a city space available right here that's 13 plus 17 percent. It's within range of the gold and the mammoth, so it's not the worst thing in the world. I might sell it someday, but it's going to be a very low priority. Yeah, I'm not buying this, but you know, I've seen I've seen worse first uh, <laughs> first items that the merchants have brought me. This this one is not any good, but that's respectable for 150. No no shame in the game of this huckster. Turn 12, turns out there was nothing down here. My uh, magic spirit found out for me. So we can see the Eastern Expanse here. And, whew. This, is the, it, this ends up here, and honestly, there's no more good building sites. There's one acceptable, uh, but uninspiring building site. And I found some building sites down here, and they're not any good either. Max population 17, so this start is pretty meager compared to the previous one. Right now, there's I have to do some transmutes. There's no, well, right here, there's forest there. I can see it. But if I like wanted to settle here, which is, I believe, is that possible? No, it's not even possible. But here, I'd like to have at least one city on the water. We'll see what happens when I unveil some more ground. Turn 20, I found another draconian town and it's Hillfang and it's pretty much undefended. So I'm pretty psyched about this one. Uh, fortunately, I've got my good troops right over there by it. Uh, I've also got this guy who's exploring this area, which you can see this is actually, that's not done. So. We, got, we got some wild geography over here, but next turn I'll be taking over Hillfang. Hopefully they don't summon a second unit of spearmen or I mean, produce one, but if they do, I think I'm still fine. Turn 21, the situation has not changed. Uh, you know, we're, 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 gonna be, we're gonna be casting web. I think there's no denying that. <laughs> so let's get in here. This is gonna be a quick and easy one, I think. I'm not scared. Do the same thing you did last time, buddy boy. <coughs> Thank you. All right, Baron's just a, a better start than before. That went much, much easier. That's kind of how I expect things to go that first time, but much better. They're going to hate me, of course. These guys always fucking hate me. What a weird town. Um, <laughs> whoa. It is really in the mountains, huh? I am definitely gonna need, there's no forests here, so I'm gonna have to transmute something here. We got a volcano, I think that gives you absolutely nothing, right? Volcano plus 5% production, okay. I thought it was just nothing. It's definitely no food, but anyway, these people hate me, I'm sure. Uh, food situation, I could at least do this. They can have some production and start building some spearmen so they hate me less. Uh, I'm gonna have some food production issues, but you know, we made it. All right, turn 23, so I've noticed for the first time, I think, I don't think I noticed this in my Dark Elves playthrough, I found some Quark Crystals. And I feel like this mechanic where, um, where if you have a Miner's Guild, you double the output of things like Quark Crystals and Mithril, I think that's new, right? That's, that wasn't in the original, was it? But anyway, because I've been able to transmute things, I can actually turn this shitty desert, other than that tile, into a nice town. So I'll, I'll be interested in getting those Quark Crystals at some point. Uh, turn 25, I've completed some Settlers, I didn't really need to tell you about that, but what, what, <laughs> Something I've mentioned before, but this is such a fucking annoyance. So I, I selected the settlers for movement, and I selected a city down here, and it won't walk there because they won't walk through the cities. This has got to change. This has just got to change. That's that's bad. Please change that. Check this area out. Not only do we have uh, the quartz crystals here, there's also the more powerful Krizix crystals here. So right now this is maximum population 13. Uh, if I change those two 
into grasslands. You know, I'd, I'd change something into a hill. But uh, if I do that, it'll be a decent city and it'll have an insane production of power once the miners guild's up and running. Turn 29 and it's time for me to found a city. I've decided to settle it here because the population is three more than here and the production is a little bit better. I'm, I am sacrificing it being on the ocean. I can only make triremes. I'll, right now, this continent's huge. I'm not too worried about getting movement across water. I've got a lot. I got a lot to, of building to do here, and I think it's better because I, what I believe is one, two, three, four. I can build here. I think but I can't build there. I can build like there, and have a pretty decent city there as well. Uh, but if I one, two, three, four, yeah. So I'll still be able to build here, which is why I'm doing this. Is it questionable? Yeah, I think it's worth it though. And let's go ahead and do it. Let's build ourselves an outpost. We call it Green Patch. It sounds very peaceful. Turn 30. I just want to say that my two uh, draconian towns are absolute drains on uh, my food production. They're just eating and not working, and it, and it fucking sucks, not going to lie. Um, <laughs> things are going really badly because of these two cities. Um, and it's just very hard to get their unrest down, you know? So right now, this town, my second town here, is doing four people producing food and nobody doing production. So everything takes forever because I, it's just the weight of these draconian cities is really, really heavy right now. Check this out on turn 33. I found some neutral goblin spearmen. Uh, <laughs> Magic spirit can't handle that kind of heat, obviously. So it's gonna, it's very far away from my civilization for now. Uh, and, it'll, and the other, the continent up here is absolutely humongous, so I won't be able to get my good, I made the air quotes there, stack down here anytime soon. Uh, I'd love to take over the city, but there's no way I can do it with a magic spirit, so I'll just be kind of skirting around them and avoiding conflict, because I can't win with a magic spirit. Curious to know where their city is, though. Turn 35, I think. Uh, Theory of the Thieves come around. I got the money. I'm not going to do it, though. I, I just don't I, don't, I don't see the value in her. I don't think she's any good. It is indeed turn 35, and Green Patch has turned into a town. You'll love to see it, but they're going to be doing housing for a fair bit. Won't be as long as the other races. They'd have nice population growth, but it's going to, still going to be a while. Turn 40, and I've learned Cracks Call. I'll find the first spell I've successfully researched. Uh, I'm probably, if assuming the Transmute Nature spell is there, I'm probably just going to learn it. Oh, the transmute is the one that does um, does resources, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to be bothering with that right now. I don't think I need it. I do need uh, just go fast. Let's learn Wall of Stone so I can hopefully get the one that lets me change terrain. I don't need it immediately, but it's going to take me a while to learn. Turn 44. Remember those goblin spearmen we saw all that time ago? They finally made it to Green Patch. Just a long ass walk. <laughs> no one can deny that that was a bit of a hike for them. I think I'm just gonna cast giant strength and leave it at that. Swordsman should just go to beat the shit out of him anyway. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe I should just cast um, stone skin instead. That seems a little bit safer. Also. I'm not gonna, not gonna cast Cracks Call. It's expensive. Uh, it's kind of an emergency thing. Not This is not an emergency. I think, I think we got him. Okay. Didn't have to cast another spell, which is really what I wanted. Um, yeah, good. Solid W, easy stuff. Turn 47 or something? I think Wall of Stone's been learned. It's not a good spell, but you know why I got it. I already explained myself. Looks like I'm not gonna find the spell I'm looking for, so we'll keep going with the easiest to learn spell. All right, it's turn 50 time to wrap this video up, but uh, more Goblin Spearman came up. I had some settlers moving towards right here. But now, since you get these swordsmen right when you found your outpost, this is where I wanted my town anyway. There's Dirt Patch. Not quite as nice as Green Patch. A lot of people have been saying that. But it's going to be a town that will be defended by a single unit of swordsmen who can protect adequately against a single unit of Goblin Spearmen. Uh, <laughs> I guess it would be way scarier if it was some other species after me because you know goblins with their low defense would i would assume easily 
lose to any other Mirren race one-on-one, -on -one, even Swordsman versus Spearman, just because that defense is so bad. But it's Goblin on Goblin violence. Eventually we'll bring them into the fold and it'll be great. But uh, yeah, we'll give you, give you a little update. <laughs> this absurd continent, you can see down here in the map that it's just huge. So here's, I've, in the first 50 turns, I've gotten, you know, six cities, four goblins, and two draconian. There's all this land down here, including this area with all these crystals. Uh, since I saw the goblins, I, my magic spirit's just been going around the coast. So it made it all the way up here and all the way down here. Huge piece of land over here. Just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, there's space for a city down here, obviously. Another one up here and maybe one more up here. Uh, I haven't quite found the uh, northern edge of the continent in this part just yet. Definitely... I wish I could. I wish bridges were a thing. I'd like to build a bridge right here. Dwarven engine or can my goblin engineers? Do those exist for one thing? Let's find out. Um, am I still? Am I allowed to build? Oh, I'm still allowed to build things. Good. I have not been thinking about um, like building my military at all. I've just been trying to build this town as strong as possible to get more settlers pumped out um, and expand that way. But yeah. I think in general, we're looking really good. Lots and lots of room to expand, which is what I like. Uh, the, the, the opening in this one's gonna be a, a bit long, I think, just because there is all this open area. So anyway, that's about all there is to say. I've not been checking out the sites as I go along. I've just been focused on the maps. So I, these guys aren't, they're, they're not gonna do anything. <laughs> they're not taking anything down. So what looked like kind of, like the this area where I am, Without this isthmus would be a disaster, right? <laughs> the real continent's right here. I'm basically an island. I'm, I'd imagine during uh, during high tide, this thing, you, but you can't you can't even get through there. You know, I built a city on top of it, so it's pretty questionable. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm off to a good start. Not as good as the previous try. I'm still allowed to build units though, and that's awesome. All right, see you later.